What's up, everybody? I'm Andy, and this is Eurolab. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the new shop. This is the Eurolab headquarters. Uh, as you see here, this is the 98 Audi A4 drift car that kind of started it all for the channel. Returning viewers know this, but if you're new to the channel, feast your eyes. As you can see, it has an engine in it again. Got a new Beijing Boosty Boy for it. I don't care. It's going to do the noises that I need. Just got to do some wiring and the exhaust. The biggest thing is, should I do a hood dump or should I be a normal person and do it out the back? Let me know in the comments. So it is completely converted to rear wheel drive. I welded the center diff, which is just in the transmission. I also welded the rear diff. I like to slide everywhere. I also did like the DIY angle kit where you just chop the knuckles and you shorten the tie rod bit and you get some more angle. And if one Audi wasn't enough, how about two? But this isn't my car, this is actually Dom's car now. Um, I, I originally got this, took it for the engine, I, he needed it more, so let's, let's get some more insight on what he's got going on to it, uh, what needs fixed on it. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you? I've been better, <laughs> <laughs> as you can see. Yeah, he's uh, kind of deep in here. Getting what, a little uh, dirty. What do you got to do to get this thing going again? So I ended up melting a piston at the last event and well, I decided to put a new piston in, but I didn't feel like pulling the motor. So I lifted the motor up, dropped the subframe, dropped the oil pan and that's that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yep. Ain't nothing for some B5 guys. Hopefully we'll be at uh, an event this weekend. If not, it'll be all right. Cause we're going to be working on the car. So, uh, I guess if two wasn't enough, how about three B5s? <laughs> so here we have Dom's comp car or now soon to be comp car um, he took a bunch of crap off it obviously because it's just a shell there's not a single wire basically on this car um, it's going to be here for a while because we're going to do roll cage we're going to stitch well a whole bunch of stuff uh, there's a whole bunch a whole bunch going on we're going to lose a lot of weight so I'd like to take a second and show you guys our merch that we have we actually make all this in-house. My brother designs all this stuff for us. We don't have many designs. We actually have this one as well. Not too much, but we're starting out. So if any of you guys are interested in a hoodie or a t-shirt, head over to my Instagram page, shoot me a message, and we will link up. I'll get you hooked up with a hoodie or a t-shirt or a sticker. Last but not least, this is my 96 GTI VR6. Uh, this is gonna be the last one that we show you in the shop today but I still want to show it to you. Um, in the next video, we're going to try to start it. I'm not sure if there's a fueling issue going on with it or if it's just going to start. Um, however, I'd really like to show you guys the engine in it. The body has 250 plus thousand miles on it. The engine has 26,000 miles on it. So let's take a look at that. So here is my 26,000 mile VR6 engine inside of my very rusty 250,000 mile VR6 GTI. Uh, my boss donated the engine to me after I just had, had a bunch of issues with the last engine that I bought for it. Um, I'll go into more detail on the whole process of that in the next video, but original green, original surf green manual VR6 GTI, come on. It's wonderful. And it's a complete disaster because I daily this thing, or I did daily it, 80 miles every day, back and forth to work. So I did that for two plus years. So it's a, it's a daily car. Hope you guys like the uh, new shop we got going. Got a ton of projects that you haven't seen here. If you follow my Instagram page, you'll know which kind of projects I have going. Uh, they basically all need work. So let me know which one you want to see get worked on after all the projects we have behind us. Right now we are at about 500 subscribers. Our goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers. And once we hit that goal, we're going to give away a bunch of merch that we got here on the wall. Like and subscribe, comment below. Let me know what projects you want to see. Thank you so much for watching, guys. 
I love you a long time. <laughs> Can I say that? Is that bad to say?